all of our research, whether it's actual basic corn research developing new inbreds, or whether it's corn research that's more aimed at product development, identifying the best possible hybrids from the genetic providers. All the research is aimed at non-GMO seed that can be used on an organic farm or a conventional farm. So corn hybrid evaluation is really, for us, mostly randomized replicated trials that we run. I think this year we're in 11 states. What these randomized replicated plots do is, with generally it's groups of 40 hybrids roughly in the same maturity, and, and then we'll have probably six different maturity ranges. So we'll have starting at about an 80 day uh, up to 115 day. We'll have smaller chunks of that broken up, and then we'll run randomized replicated plots around the country and evaluate these hybrids both for yield, for stock strength, for root strength, for ear height, for plant height, uh, and for disease to see how they do in different parts of the country. So we'll have plots in South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, all the way out to Pennsylvania and New York this year. So all over the country, we're looking at hybrids and trying to, again, identify the best hybrids uh, for those regions and the most consistent hybrids across those regions as well. The corn product research that we do is led by Jake Hansen, our product manager. And then we work in partnership with a company called Encore Genetics based in Kelly, Iowa. And we're a part owner of that company. And they randomize and replicate all these plots. Some of the plots they put in themselves. And some of them we do cooperatively with other corn research organizations around the country. Then we bring all the data back in the fall and put it together and see which hybrids are yielding the most, which ones stand the best, which one have the best disease resistance, etc. And in addition, Jake Hansen and other people are out walking these plots, uh, through, especially in the fall, evaluating them for maturity and taking other notes about things that farmers care about, like how soon the, the ear tips over, whether they have potential as silage hybrids, and things like that. In this plot, currently we have uh, six screenings trials. And when I say screenings, I mean these are very early uh, hybrid development trials that we're screening for to see if we've got any potential for hybrids to bring into the lineup uh, more than two or three years down the road. But we also have what I call our pre-commercial trials. And that is comparing our current lineup with industry checks as well as possible hybrids that we could add to the lineup. The first thing that makes us unique is that we only look for non-GMO hybrids and that can be used on organic and conventional non-GMO farms. The number one thing we are looking for for organic farmers is emergence because organic farmers, if you ask them, they will most often tell you their biggest challenge is weed control. And one of the things that helps them the most for weed control is to have corn that comes out of the ground fast and reaches canopy early so that they can be a more aggressive in their cultivation and also the taller the corn gets early on the more it's shading the row. So emergence and early season growth are number one for organic farmers. We're also looking for hybrids that have good ear flex so if there's variable population due to something like cultivator blight the ear flex can make up for that if there's enough moisture and fertility. In addition we're looking for broad adaptability across different kinds of management systems, the ability of hybrids to handle lighter soils, heavier soils, etc., and also to, to specifically identify where certain hybrids perform the best and where they're the weakest. Jake, what are the watch outs for this one? I don't really have any yet. I really don't. If I had one, I'd call it out. But Max I don't. big on the watch outs. I know, he likes to. He's always like, well, it can't be that great. What, it's got watch what do outs, I watch he likes to out? call it out. He likes to be calling it out. How does this evaluation program help farmers get better performance? Uh, a couple of ways. First of all, it helps us identify the highest yielding hybrids and the most consistent, best performing hybrids across a wide area. It also helps us identify the characteristics that farmers care about. So if a particular farmer wants a hybrid with a really high test weight, for example, we of course evaluate for that. If a particular farmer wants a hybrid that stands very late into the fall because he or she typically harvests late, we have the notes on that. Uh, the other way it helps is that it helps us identify where certain hybrids do their best work and where they're perhaps not as well suited. So for example, in the upper Midwest, we have some areas with really heavy, dark, wet soils. And there are some hybrids that do better on, in those conditions, so-called wet feet. 
and some hybrids that don't do as well in that condition. And so we can identify particular hybrids for that thing that a farmer may or may not be concerned about and help do a better job with product placement. So in addition to the hybrids that we license from other companies around the world, we also have our proprietary breeding program of our own to develop conventional and non-GMO hybrids. And those go through the same selection process as our licensed hybrids through our product evaluation network. Those are products that are also unique to us. And if they bring additional value to our customers, we will launch them. You know, in all cases, we want to, first of all, think about our customers and make sure they're either bringing more yield or some other characteristic that we feel our customers really need before we launch them. Again, 107 day silage master, newer class of products for Blue River for 2025. This thing's really gonna shine out, uh, put out a lot of yield and really help fill up your bins. Great work, Jake, I'll buy some. <laughs> Where do I buy it? <laughs> On to the next. <laughs>